We shouldn't run into any albs here.
pathetic Not remnants now. of a degenerate old culture. Nah, nah, nah. They're always hitting on you here. Don't ask me what that was about. Wick is dead, but I found the ID cards on his body. Dead? Shit. I told him whatever was there wasn't worth the risk. Wick would do anything if it would mean him getting two shards he could tap together. Ah, well, give me the blank ID card. I'll work it up for you now. So, done. One fake ID ready to go. Give me the counterfeit ID. Okay, wait a second. Your image has to be added there first. So, done. Here's your ID. And this is the ID for Cooper. Take it to him. But make sure the clerics don't see it, see him, or see you handing this over. And do it as soon as you get in there. He's been at risk too long as it is. We don't need him being held, or worse, turned into a vegetable by the suggesters. Is she really so gullible? Fucking elves. It'll cost all of us. step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. I have an entry ID. Let me through. Really? I thought I knew all the ones that had been issued. And you were here asking about getting ID before. So tell me where you got this one. It's mine. I was issued one after all. Must have misplaced it. All right. I'll believe you this once. I've got to be wary. That desert gang of outlaws is always trying to find ways to get by me. Oh, and uh, there are some rules I need to tell you before you enter. First, stay away from the generators. Nobody but the technicians is allowed access to them. That sort of security is why we need to keep an eye on IDs. So if you meet someone who's in the city illegally, report them to us immediately. And Eric will take care of them. We can only keep peace in the city if we all work together. We keep the city secure. That's what was laid down by the Great Council of Magalan. And the Great Council gave the clerics the responsibility for guaranteeing the city's independence. That means everyone is welcome here until they cause trouble. So keep the peace while you're in there. Our suggestors are busy enough without you adding to their workload. And that's it. May pass. you let me guess I'm not allowed into the upper quarter what no everyone's allowed to move about freely here I just have a question for you you got here recently right I just want to know what things are like outside the dome what's going on out there are the Alps attacking why do you ask I'm interested we're cut off here under the dome safe from the world outside so they pass us by like a river around a rock. Kalan gave us the knowledge, and now look what we've achieved. A safe harbor for all people. The clerics and Ignodon say we've strayed. I say we've found the true path. You built the dome? I designed the plans for it. Then we built it together. My name is Eric, by the way. Chief engineer here in the dome. I'm in charge of all the generators and technicians who oversee them. Why don't the clerics have a dome like this in Ignaton? 
The dome requires immense amounts of energy, and the fluctuations in it have to be constantly balanced. The technology is complex. That means there's no way to cover the Hort with a shield like this. Besides, the cliffs around Hort give it a natural protection. I have a forged ID for you. Are you trying to get me angry? Let me guess. Gregor, the dome guard, sent you. I told him a thousand times I'm not responsible for these things. Alois is the city's supervisor. You should report such matters to him. Go on, go and play Gregor's messenger boy. I will take the ID to Alois. Ah, no, it's all right, it's all right. Just, just give it here. I'll take care of it. Shit, I'm sorry I bit your head off. It's just, I've got enough to deal with without getting bogged down in the petty stuff. But Gregor keeps sending me every task he comes across. If there's trouble with the generators or the dome, then I'm your man. I have enough to deal with without counterfeit passes or toilet breaks for guards or shortages of hinges in the West Quarter. Still, that's not your problem. Thank you for bringing me the pass. Please, take your reward for honorable service to the Dome. I'll check to see who this ID was customized for. Then a suggester can take care of the rest. A seat like this can only lead us to uncovering a greater lie. Can this Dome survive an Albatac? Of course. Why do you think we built it? As long as we can maintain a constant energy flow, then they can't get in. Unfortunately, achieving that isn't so easy. Some of the energy regulators are starting to malfunction again. Malfunctioning energy regulators sound dangerous. Of course they are. That's out of frying yourself if you try to adjust them. If we were attacked right now, the whole dome would go critical. About the broken energy regulators. What will happen if they aren't repaired? If just one regulator fails, it could mean an emergency shutdown for the dome. Otherwise, the discharge it would create could kill a whole lot of the people the shield is supposed to be protecting. But whether it's a discharge or an emergency shutdown, both scenarios would see us defenseless. I will help you with the energy regulators. I wanted to do it myself, but do you really think you could handle it? So, let's find out who you are. You should go to Ignadon one day. You could be a good cleric. Yeah, I know, I left Ignadon behind, but they could offer you better training than I could. I have the energy regulator here. Please, take it to Lutz and help him to install it. Come back to me when you're done. You don't know that either, whatever you say. About the broken energy regulators. How many energy regulators are broken? Well, all of them. I've sorted replacements where I can. But Lutz hasn't received his yet. Not now! Take your business elsewhere! The B-Series was never very reliable, you know that. We'll talk later, yeah? Cooper, outlaw. You fled. What do you want? 
you back the clerics here, or do you want them gone? You get right to the point, don't you? And are you gonna give me an answer? I'm against the clerics. Right, good. I can see you talk sense. They say they're here to keep things safe, to keep order. But it's obvious they want to drop their neutrality and extend Ignadon's control into Abessa. Not allowing anyone in or out of the city, that's just the start of it. You think that's because the Alps are getting closer? Or that those followers of Kalan really want a backdoor for invasion? The Alps are more of a threat than the clerics. Executions, converters, torture. Believe me, I know all about that shit. But those guys are only interested in Elix, and as far as I know, there's many more here in the city than there is elsewhere. So why should they show any interest in attacking a fortified position to get it, instead of sweeping up all there is out there? The Albs want all the Elix. All of it. No matter where it is. We won't get in their way. We don't want Elix. They have to see that. They'd be attacking us for nothing. No, no, it's the clerics. Why don't you do something to stop the clerics? I trust you. You gave me my ticket here after all. But I can't tell you our plan. But you must have realized by now, the dome must go. The clerics can't be allowed to take a Bessa. You still have your skill, Jax. Yeah? What do you want? You know what this is. Fuck. You're lucky you're getting a chance. You will leave the city. Hey you, I heard you speaking to Eric. He gave you an energy regulator for the dome, right? Give it to me, will you? Very soon now, you're going to need the right sort of friend, and giving that to me will earn you that. Why do you want the regulator? Haven't you noticed the tension here? All the anger and the plotting? It scares the hell out of me. So I want a way out of here if things go wrong. A sort of backdoor. I want to modify the regulator so I can drop a section of the dome and get out if things go bad. Let me modify it, then I'll give it back to you so you can get it to where it needs to be. You've got to see why I'd want a way out, yeah? So do we have a deal? What's in it for me if I help you? Profit is profit. I respect that attitude. What do you think about a hundred shards? Okay, give me the hundred shards. Here, give me the regulator. Give me a moment, it won't take long. So, done. Here you go. Take it to Lutz like Eric asked you to. You won't regret trusting me. Now, I've got a way out of here, so you know who to find if things go to hell. What happens if this thing is installed now? Nothing at first. All that I did was install a small emergency shutoff. If things escalate here, if the clerics won't let us out of the city anymore, or if the outlaws lose it, then we have a way out. I hope we don't have to use it, but it's there just in case. Let's trade. Okay. I told him he can forget about that. 